in your uh, combat cancer and autoimmune disease course, which I'll link below, and it's a wonderful course, and you can do it at your own pace. In the first module, I believe I heard you say that it's not so much the sugar, oil, and salt that cause cancer on their own, but the fact that they stimulate overeating, particularly of unhealthy foods that cause an unfavorable weight, which increases our risk. And I've since learned that there's at least 13 cancers that are specifically linked to excess weight. Can you speak to that? Well, the one thing we know is that extra body fat suppresses immune function, allowing all types of cancer to worsen, even skin cancer from sun exposure, from radiation exposure. And by the way, we talked about, um, you know, common causes of cancer that are not food related, right? Like radiation, radon, pollution, all these things that are not food related. But what I'm saying right now is that Food can even, the, the healthy diet can help you resist and retard the damage from those non-food related causes, even skin cancer. So even skin, you know, but in any case, um, we were talking, what were we just talking about? I got- Oh, um, about, um, in, in the course, you said that it isn't so much that the sugar and oil and salt directly oh, right. causes cancer. Right, we're talking about body fat, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so they we're talking that- as the body fat increases, it suppresses immunity and, pre and deactivates the natural killer T cells, the body's ability to recognize um, abnormal cell surfaces so the body can recognize a cancer cell and attack it and remove it. So as the body fat increases, it suppresses the body's ability to reverse, seek out and destroy abnormal cells and repair tissue. And we produce more, it creates a pro-inflammatory state. So let's just go be more specific. And we're talking here about a male's body fat above 15% and a woman's body fat above 25%. So as we're, so a male's body fat should be between 10 and 15% and a female's body fat should probably be between 18 and 25%, something, those are a normal range of body fat, right? So as you go to 20, for a female, let's say, you go from 27, 28, 30, 34, 36% body fat, as body fat goes up, gets up into the 30% and above, you get more and more suppression of immune function, including increased risk of pneumonia and almost all types of cancers. Now, those, that body fat, which suppresses immunity, also has the effect to sequester nutrients away from cells that, could, that would be important for those and sequester um, nutrients away from cells that, could, um, that, um, that are important for immune function defense against cancer and nutrients in the cells that enable the cell to repair itself. So in the machinery of each cell is equipment to repair broken DNA crosslinks and methylation defects that cumulatively could create cancer. So we can take away that machinery of the cell to repair itself as we increase body fat and we're overweight. So that's where even if you go to a cancer center telling you to gain more weight, they could be pushing your body fat up to an unfavorable level that can allow the cancer cells to get worse even though they might make you do better in response to chemo, whether you did not lose weight with chemo as much, which they're trying to do, they're still gonna, if they, um, their general bias on, on all Americans being overweight, you're not losing weight that fast because it's confusing for them because as the cancer gets more aggressive, it causes more weight loss. And they think they're opposing the aggressiveness of the cancer with keep by opposing that weight loss due to the aggressiveness of the cancer, but it's still not the right way to think. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to create an, a biochemical environment to stop the aggressive replication of cancer cells, which will then slow down or stop the weight loss and allow the person to maintain an ideal weight. So we're doing it completely differently and we're doing it with high nutrient concentration, not by eating food to make you gain more weight. It's completely the wrong, direct, the wrong direction. So yes, um, sugar, oil, and salt, well, they are appetite stimulants, but they also have effects, have pro-inflammatory effects. So salt eating is really to increase risk of autoimmune condition. It's increased risk to stomach cancer. Um, oil consumption, especially heated oils, are carcinogenic in, direction, in, in direct proportion to the degree the oil has been cooked or heated, how a temperature it's heated at, and how long it's been heated for. So when you go to a fast food restaurant and you're eating fried you know, chicken in heated oil or French fries in heated oil, it's been heated for hours. You're eating a food that's highly carcinogenic. It's not just fattening. And then sugar, when you're eating sugar sweeteners without 
you're also um, stripping the body of nutrients to convert that sugar into energy. Your body utilizes micronutrients and phytochemicals and antioxidants to convert that. And if you're not supplying it in your diet, you're reducing the nutrient density in your tissues, increasing risk of cancer directly from eating processed foods like white flour and sugar too.